How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to get Anaconda downloaded onto your computer. <clears throat> Anaconda is amazing because it has uh, a bunch of different things. Uh, the main reason I use it is for Python because uh, downloading uh, RStudio is not super hard. But it does come with RStudio, comes with Anaconda, comes with Jupyter Notebook, comes with tons of stuff that you'll use for uh, your data science problems that you need. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this free download. Uh, you, you, you type download Anaconda into Google and, that, and then press the top link there. We'll press the download. Of course we're going with Python 3.7 because uh, Python 2.7 is kind of dead. I, I hate to break it to you. but Alright, we're... Uh, We'll fast forward here. We'll see in one second after this downloads. I should point out while this is uh, downloading, this is on a Mac and you can do Windows or Linux or whatever. Uh, it noticed that I was on a Mac, so it defaulted to that. If you're on Windows or Linux, you can do that as well. Uh, download whatever version you need. All right, we got this downloaded. Same idea on the Windows is you're gonna open up whatever package that you downloaded and run through the installer. All right, so now we got it, uh, and just run through the installer, continue, continue, agree, you know, probably should read all that stuff, but eh, nah, not likely. All right, now we're preparing Anaconda 3. All right, now we're validating some packages. Hopefully we don't fall asleep at any point during this. That would be unfortunate. We got about 19 minutes for install time. Let's go. We're writing some files. This is a good time to surf the web or, uh, you know, contemplate life in general. All right, we're running some package scripts. All right, let's go. We're done. So let's take a look. Anaconda and JetBrains are working together to bring you Anaconda powered environments tightly integrated from the PyCharm IDE. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Sure, no, but it's, nah, I think I'll not sign up. Thank you, though. Okay, that should be it. So, we'll go to the Anaconda Navigator. That's how you open up all these different programs, um, which is kind of nice and kind of annoying at the same time. Um, just because when, you have to keep this Navigator open, even when your other thing's not open. Um, no, nah, I think I'll not help him. Uh, but, but once we're here at the Navigator, we see we have Jupyter Notebook, we have Spider, we got GlueViz, if you're into that. I don't know why you would be. Maybe it's good, I don't really know. Our studio, which is obviously really good. And uh, from there you can launch. If you wanna do our studio, you have to install it. Uh, but I'm just launching Spider here. I'm a big fan of Spider. Uh, it's what, pretty much exclusively what I use when I'm programming in Python. And we can't be noobs here, okay? Python is um, is definitely good with um, get rid of that. Python is definitely good, and a lot of people use it for programming and stuff. Uh, but the we I mean we need to black it out. Okay, we can't rock this. I don't know why I went there. Uh, preferences. I mean we we got to do the dark theme. We don't want to burn our eyeballs out or anything, you know. So we'll just uh, look for that here. Okay, so we go to syntax coloring, and then we pick another theme. I like spider dark. Solarized dark is nice. You know a lot of those are nice, but. I mean, you gotta rock the dark. So there we go. We're uh, we're all set up with Spider. In the next one, I'll show how to update Spider and then do some installing some packages and basic basic stuff with it. Um, but if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button uh, so other people can find it. Uh, consider subscribing if you want more of the best Python and R content that there is anywhere on YouTube. Okay, it's right here on that R Nerds channel. Um, thank you for your time. You have a good day. I hope this helped you.
see you later.